then there's a large scale experiment where we're trying to understand how the mixed wood boreal forest works. This project is all about leadership and vision and uh, where forest management needs to go in the future. We're trying to compare the kinds of effects that you get when the system is subjected to natural disturbances like burning, insects and diseases, with the kinds of perturbations that you get when we harvest the system. It's a public resource and it's important that we manage it to uh, meet the needs of the public as well as our company. We've been working with Canfor on a, uh, a joint management plan and uh, uh, we decided that we would take a little different approach to our management using more of an ecological approach. On one single land base, on a piece of land about seven kilometers by 13 kilometers, we've had as many as 50 or 60 different people working, all on different things. What we're looking for is, is the effect that that beetle has on uh, changing the nutrients in the soil. As the beetle larvae are feeding in the wood, uh, that frass basically just rains down in the soil and, and what we're looking for is, is how that changes the, the nutrients, the carbon, the nitrogen, the phosphorus. There are people in the operations end, people from in the industry, again academic researchers, government uh, researchers, etc. And uh, to have an exchange of information is imperative when you have so many different disciplines working on a site. The industrial partners have never interfered with the scientific uh, content of the uh, study or the scientific integrity of the study. And, and, and often they've suggested improvements to the study and that's, I think that's the kind of partnership you want. The, the problem is how can we take some, some of our uh, economic wealth out of that system and at the same time make sure that our, our grandchildren and their grandchildren have opportunities like we all enjoy now.